This is all for me, sir. All for you? Yes. I put an ad in the paper. An ad? Yes. You know, I have done something that's going to make you very happy. You're looking for another job. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm advertising for a roommate. Why would that make me happy? Well, you're always criticizing me for spending so much money. And if I have a roommate, I'll cut my expenses right in half. Just think, half of the utilities, half of the rent, half of the groceries... And half of the morning has gone by and you haven't done any work yet. <laughs> I have to read these letters very carefully. You know, it's a big decision picking a roommate. It's very difficult for two people to live together. Those are the very words I said to my wife this morning. <laughs> Out of all these, I should be able to find a roommate. Yeah. Wait, a, wait a minute, you hardly glanced at that. Why did you throw it away so quickly? Because I don't want a roommate named Irving. <laughs> I am a college graduate and presently employed as a librarian. Yours truly, Carol Bradford. Oh, she sounds just perfect. <laughs> Your yes, yes, and I'm, I'm Lucy, uh, <clears throat> I'm Lucy Carmichael, I was expecting you. Can I help you with your thing? Thank you. <laughs> May I take that? Oh, please? no, 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 thank you. I'll, I'll just put it right over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have warned you about that step. No, I'm all right. I'm just glad it happened here instead of at the library. Oh. They're very strict about noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, you broke your glasses. Oh, no, I always wear them like that. Without lenses? I have on contact lenses, see? Oh, well, then why do you wear the... Uh... So people won't think I'm vain. <laughs> You can ever be vain. You're, you're much too refined and dignified oh. for that. Well, that's my library training. Oh. Believe me, it isn't always easy. No. Especially when you get some of those people in the library who are looking for a book uh -huh. and they can't remember the title or the author's name uh -huh. and you go through shelf after shelf after book after book and you want to say to them, Drop dead! <laughs> Don't dare, because it's a library. <laughs> well, it must be very difficult to control yourself at times. Mm, yes. Well, I'm very dedicated. Oh. One time, I was way up high on a ladder, putting a book back on a shelf, yeah, but... and somebody came along and took the ladder right out from under me and left me hanging. <laughs> something? What? I waited until that library closed before I would yell, HELL! <laughs> Why? Well, you certainly are dedicated. Well, I like to be considerate of other people. Oh, well, that's, that's good. That's just the kind of girl that I was hoping to have for a roommate, I can tell you. Well, that's the kind of girl you got. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad. Uh, why don't we, uh... <laughs> you know, uh, 
Even though we just met, I, I have a feeling that uh, uh, just by little things that we're going to be very compatible. <laughs> well, you know, the little things are important. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Some things can really drive me batty. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. You know, one of the little things that drives me crazy at the library is when we get one of those loud finger wetters. <laughs> loud finger wetters? Yeah, you know the kind I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew a girl like that in school, and we never knew whether she was going to read the book or eat it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you have a sense of humor. I don't dare laugh down at the library. I can understand that. <laughs> I'll just uh, clear this off a little bit and make us some coffee. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. I, I think I, I better close the window. Maybe you're catching cold. Oh, no, no. It's all right. It's just an allergy. Oh, what are you allergic to? Well, we found out it's something in the air. What? Oxygen. <laughs> it open. Who's Harvey? It's my goldfish. <laughs> Do you have a goldfish? Oh, I hope he's welcome here. Oh, of course he is, of course. Well, actually, the manager doesn't allow pets, but as long as he's housebroken. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get the coffee. All right, and I'll get Harvey. He doesn't like to be left out of things. No, you, you bring him in. <laughs> television. <laughs> He's crazy about Flipper. <laughs> He's right there, sweetheart, while Mummy has her coffee. <laughs> that table should be centered. <laughs> I can't 
came over to meet your new roomie. Where is she? She's in taking a shower. Oh, Lucy, you've rearranged your furniture. Yeah, my new roomie rearranged my furniture. I love it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, how about that? That's some more of her handiwork. <laughs> yes? No, that's all right. Come here. I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Mary Jane. This is Carol Bradford, Mary Jane Hello, Lewis. Carol. I, I found this ribbon on your dresser, and I wondered what it was for. Oh, I've had that thing for years. I won fourth place in a contest. Well, what kind of contest? A beauty contest. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to take much of this. Carol, are you all right? I was vocalizing. <laughs> vocalizing? That's the way I vocalize. Well, I sing in a choir. Oh, wow, she sings in a choir. We, uh, we meet every Saturday afternoon. Oh, well, that must be very nice for you. Yeah, it is. I, I don't have much of a social life. Well, I'm, I'm kind of shy around people, but somehow when I'm singing, I feel more at ease. Oh. Uh, well, besides singing, what else do you do for amusement? Oh, I read a lot. Oh, well, don't you ever go out after work? Oh, sure. Sometimes the girls and I go out after the library closes. Oh, where do you go? We know this after hours library. <laughs> Research library near the university. It's open till 10 o'clock. <laughs> well, I guess that must give you a chance to meet some of the boys from the university, huh? No, I haven't met any boys. You haven't? Why, I'll bet there are lots of boys that would like to go out with you, Carol. Yes. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, when I get nervous, I get the hiccup. <laughs> what are you nervous about? I think it's a topic of our conversation. <laughs> going out with boys makes you nervous? No, not going out with them. <laughs> Gosh, I wish those fellows would get here. I like to have the party started before Carol gets home. Don't worry, they'll come. They promised, Lucy. There they, there are. they are. Hi, Hi Lucy. Hi. Wonderful. Well, this is a party, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, I'm so glad you got here. I was afraid you wouldn't show up. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow could keep us from our appointed freeloading. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a pizza and a bottle of Chianti. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Now, where's that swinging chick Mary Jane told us about? Swinging <laughs> chick? Yeah. The doll poses for all those bikini ads. <laughs> Oh, really? Look, fellas, Carol's not exactly a swinging chick. She's very nice, and but she's rather shy and inhibited. And I just thought if I had a few people over, it might bring her out of her shell. Oh, Mel can handle that. He's very good at getting girls out of things. <laughs> Once he got a girl out of Cincinnati. Oh. I did not. They're just putting me on because I happen to be kind of shy myself. Oh, well, I'm sure you and Carol will get along just fine. Look, let's say we get the party started, huh? How about playing something? Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> oh, I know you and Carol will get along fine. <laughs> I want the party really swinging when Carol comes oh, in. Don't hear her say anything at all. <laughs>
of a party crash. Oh, now you're not crashing. Come on, no, honey. No, Lucy, I have this book. I have to finish. Oh, come on now. You're the guest of honor, Carrie. <laughs> I want you to meet the fellows. Fellas, this is Carol. Hi, Carol. Oh, Carol. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, we, we thought we'd have a little get-together tonight. And, and these they fellows... They brought pizza and wine. Yeah, help yourself, everybody. Oh, wonderful. Oh, salute. 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 Aren't you going to have some, Carol? No, thank you. I don't drink. Oh, well, this is just wine. It goes with the pizza that the fellows brought. Uh, in Italy, they drink this just like water. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in drinking a lot of water. Uh, Carol, this is Mel. Hi, Carol. I'm Mel. Uh, Carol works in a library. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, well, tell me what you do, Mel. I don't work in a library. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, look, why don't you two go over there and, and talk a little while, and, and we'll get the stuff ready for the party, and, and uh, you, you just enjoy yourself now. Did you know that there are 6,950,000 books in the New York Public Library? No. <laughs> Did you know that contrary to popular belief, the first public library was not founded in Boston, Massachusetts, but in Peterborough, New Hampshire? No. <laughs> are stolen annually. I didn't know that. Well, that's classified information and shouldn't be given out. I'm going to my room. Come on, 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 come on,
and water on a drowning man. <laughs> Music does something to me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>